you are planning for your exam mm. so what exactly was your strategy in the exam so i think in exam again also it's a three revision strategy here also three uh, times you have to go through the entire paper so my first attempt was uh, in three hours exam i think take one about two hours to just mark all the questions that you know at face value don't think about ki mujhe ye nahi aa raha nahi aa raha koi baat nahi pehle 20 question if you're not able to get them right you leave it 21st question maybe you'll get right to so just attempt on the questions that you're sure about with your open mind that you don't get them wrong after that you then you go on to the questions which you can you have to think about that is the second part so i think next 40 minutes is that and then and then leave those they which you have to intelligently guess ya jinka tukka marna hai for the last 20 minutes and then attempt to okay. guess yeah, so uh, in those 3 hours is equal to 180 minutes so i subtracted 30 minutes so for the final revision let's say there are some questions which i have marked for review or which i don't know the answer to so i uh, i decided that i'll do those questions at the end so 30 minutes were reserved for that and so for 150 minutes i had two questions to solve 200 questions to solve and so i did the maths and calculated the amount of questions that i have to complete every 15 minutes so that gives you a target ki okay 15 minutes have passed have so you reached your target so long that you you know realize yeah. that you're lagging behind yeah so you need to move on if you don't need to uh, if you don't know the answer to the question maybe the first question that pops on your screen you don't know the answer to and that is totally fine maybe you know the answer to the rest of the questions it's okay to move on and Uh, know that in this given time you have to complete this much questions and i was very free spirited with the exam like i was like okay if i have an inkling towards the correct answer and i feel like this is the thing i would mark it if i can eliminate even one out of the four options the other three i would just gauge ki what could be the answer and mark it ahead so i was kind of fearless like that in the exam i didn't take it as seriously as perhaps maybe i should have but uh, it i mean it paid off i guess but uh, yeah i was like one thing i would say is that what helped me was being fearless in the exam not being afraid to mark because i had like backup plans also like i have like if i get a bad rank i'll do this if i don't get well in this exam there's always another attempt there is neat there is this so there were like three four layers of supports <laughs> so i was like okay this this mark whatever you feel like it so there's confidence is important being will like i attempted i think every question almost that's what they say you know if you don't play you can't win so for to win at least you need to play the yeah. entire thing and of course i mean if you have no idea at all mm. uh, that is something you can leave but otherwise you do yeah. try and put in your best foot forward if you can kind of eliminate a couple of options it's not a bad uh, way to at least go for something that you have an inkling for because you must have read it you know somewhere it has some kind of you know guidance from what you've read so even if you do it in 40 such questions and you get you know 25 30 correct it's there's high luck likelihood that you will get them correct if you you know done a good uh, preparation uh, what i realized after coming from the exam was that uh, nobody knows the answer to all the questions okay so i think definitely if you're sure of those questions they can be around 100 to 120 rest of the questions you have to have to guess everybody guesses it's okay to guess if you have to stay in the game if you want to get a good rank you have to attempt more you have to attempt at least more than 190 at more than 180 is a minimum ideally more than 190 so in my uh, in my november attempt i attempted 179 and i got a rank of 80 187 and in my may attempt i attempted 197 and i got a rank 4 <laughs> so that is definitely i mean uh, you give yourself a chance to score of course if you're not well prepared your guesses will fall flat yeah. while if you prepared well you your guess will is a higher chance that your guess will also definitely. be correct definitely if you're well prepared you should attempt more and if you're able to eliminate at least one option out of the four you should attempt that question in my in my experience it's what people say you know that it's all about luck but yeah. you realize the harder you work the more you have of it yeah. so that that's uh, something that we must realize that luck doesn't come you know just from uh, their heavens but you need to create your mm. uh, own luck many you know last words of motivation for the students what kept you motivated and what would be your advice to the students in with regard to how to keep up your morale and uh, i mean it's very tough of course when you keep looking at those 19 subjects again and again having a backup plan is something that gave me confidence so i would recommend one have a backup plan uh, and second thing is um like at the end of the day 
regardless of what happens there is always something else that you can do so don't worry about this one particular exam just give it with your full confidence and go ahead i mean wo ajal se aage kya hoga ek aur attempt de do bas baki i used to have this thing that when i was reading sometimes i would get tachycardia because of the tension so i would end up walking and reading so then confuse your brain ki is the tachycardia from the exertion or is it from the reading god knows so then i would walk and read like that so find your own ways of managing with this stress and uh, don't take it as seriously as it seems to be is what i would say i had a trip coming up after my may exam so <laughs> i it motivated me ki okay it this just four months of this turmoil after this things will better will be over and uske baad i'll go on a trip so abhi let me just work hard for it and the time will pass another thing which uh, which to help me calm down was that i had a f- uh, fall back option of so uh, everybody has an inclination towards a branch that they want to pursue so i had a fall back option ki agar theek hai ye nahi mila to i'll do this so it's always good to have a plan b in place ki these are these are the choices of branch that you want to do and if you're not able to get your branch of choice you can settle for less it really helps you calm down your nerves i think the most important thing is that you don't you don't give up till the time The, you you have a bad rank in your hand so it doesn't matter that you have to prepare for this exam or the exam 6 months after you just give every exam like it's the last exam you're going to give and i think that will produce the best uh, result that you can get out of you and other than that how i kept my motivation is because i think the most important thing in uh, motivation towards these kind of exam is a taste of success so that also again comes the role of tests so if you're giving test and you're doing good so that motivates it's a positive reinforcement which give so i think you have to then it positively uh, motivates you to study more and more and there should not be fear of failure that is because theek hai naya hi rank to nahi hai kya hua ek saal baad fir se exam hoga that's the worst so thing that can happen that's the kind of spirit that we would want everybody to inculcate and if finally you all want to be the good doctors that you set out to be and uh, i think no single exam can define your destiny and if we keep putting in uh, the right uh, strides and the right kind of hard work you will definitely have the taste of luck as well definitely right thank you so much topal for being with us and uh, sharing these insights i think the students would have learned a lot from you uh, thank you very much thank you it was a pleasure